Yo, it's your boy Meets Two Times in the building, man. Yo, man, I know the first video was yesterday, but last night I was thinking, I was like, all right, what should I name this channel? So I'm gonna name this channel Real Talk with M2S. That basically means Real Talk with Meets Two Times. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna name the channel. But beside the point, man, your video that I wanna talk about today, or the topic I wanna talk about today is, bro, you need to stop watching porn, bro. You need to stop beating your shit, man. You better, you need to stop watching that shit, man. Just all in general, you need to stop, bro. I had, I had wrote down a few reasons on like why you need to stop, bro. Like if you if you really think about it, it's it's weird, man. It's like you, next time you do it, record yourself, like record yourself or look at yourself in the mirror while you're doing it, bro, and look at you and be like, damn, look how pathetic I look. I'm basically gonna break it down. The problems that come with it, man. The first thing that it makes you is insecure, bro. Like, you gonna be so insecure, man. Like, you're gonna not wanna, like, talk to people. You're gonna look at yourself and shame yourself. You're gonna make yourself feel like you're not worth stuff. And people are gonna sense that on you, especially girls. Because you, you're gonna lack confidence, bro. Like, you really gonna just be anywhere you go. Looking down, looking on your phone, anybody's around, you're gonna be looking down, bro. You're gonna lack confidence and be insecure, bro. And yeah, it's it's cause you 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 wasting your energy, bro. Like when you do, when you when you release, you're wasting your energy, man. You're wasting the potential of getting a girl pregnant and having a baby. Like that energy, there's energy there. When the baby is made. When it comes out, it has energy. So that's energy, man. And you're just releasing it, wasting it. So that's energy from you being depleted. So now you're going to look down. You're going to be all insecure and stuff like that, man. It's going to bring out anxiety. It's going to bring out depression, man. It's going to... You're going to feel like you not shit, man. Like, it's going to bring it out. It's going to bring out social anxiety. Like I said, you walking in public. You scared to talk to people. You're... You're intimidated by other men, man. You, like, you just scared to talk to other people. You scared to look somebody in their eyes. You scared to talk to girls. Just anybody in general, you scared. You're just not masculine, man. Like, you got feminine ways, man. You, you're afraid to be a leader. You're always a follower. Like, you don't have that curse in you to be a leader, man. I ever wonder why, like, you always forgetting stuff. Like, you got brain fog or, you, you feel like you got short-term memory loss. So you just can't remember stuff, bro. That's another reason that is messing with your mind. Because you're constantly releasing that dopamine. When you release that dopamine on something like that, instead of good dopamine, like going on a walk or hanging out with friends or something like that, you're wasting it watching this. And, and you're getting so much in your head. Like you're getting so much dopamine and endorphins and stuff running through your head. And so now your brain's becoming addicted to that and you're, and you're, you just crave that. So now you're gonna be forgetting things and it's gonna make you tired, it's gonna make you lazy, not want to do anything. Those are basically like, like the mental things, a couple of the mental things that it does for you. But even if it shows in the physical form too, like when you, when you're addicted to watching shit, like you could just look at somebody and be like, damn, like, he looks like shit. Like, he's not walking with confidence. He's like this. He's not in the gym. He's not eating right. He he got hair loss. He got so much acne. And you can just look at somebody and, again, it's showing no confidence. You just don't care about yourself like that. When you, when you try to have sex in real life, you're going to get erectile dysfunction. Why? Because you're so used to the death grip on your hand. And you're so used to watching the screen with so many girls you could choose. When you get in the bed with a real girl, you're not gonna be able to get hard. You're not gonna be able to finish. You're not gonna be able to, like, you may not even be able to last long. I don't know. It's just a whole bunch of problems come with it. And it's cause you're training your mind to get that dopamine rush. And it's not a good dopamine rush. But those are a couple of the problems of like, why you need to stop watching that shit if you do watch it. If you don't watch it, congrats to you. Um, if you're trying to stop it, like, you need to 
put blockers on your phone you need to put uh, delete instagram delete twitter all the stuff that like provokes your mind to do that go on reddit but once you put reddit like once you go into reddit put nsfw on so it don't show no inappropriate things but go to the go to the forum semen retention no fab it's over like a million people in there and just look at all their stories and all encouraging and stuff like that because a whole bunch of people are dealing with this and it's an addiction that's not talked about a, enough and it's really messing up the minds of a lot of young people and, and it's and it's crazy and it's sad too um replace it with good habits too where you get good dopamine replace it with going to the gym hanging out with friends painting meditating cooking a meal that's good for you release it like that the reason why it affects you so much is because like i said it's energy you're releasing your energy to make a kid and you're wasting it. So every time you waste that, you're losing vitamins. It's vitamin D, vitamin zinc, all these vitamins and proteins and iron and stuff like that that you need for your body to function correctly. When you release that, it's going all into nothing when it's supposed to go into a woman to get her pregnant and the kid's supposed to get all those nutrients, but you're wasting it. And it just basically lowers your testosterone. Once your testosterone is lowered, you're not as alpha, as masculine, as much of a leader as you should be. Now, the benefits of not watching porn, the benefits are your face is going to get clear, you're going to be glowing. And I'm not saying it's going to cure all your problems, but it's a, a step forward and a cure towards a lot of them. Your face will clear up, your, your face will start glowing, like people will look at you and you're gonna be glowing, not all looking gloomy. Your voice is gonna get deeper. Facial hair is all gonna start growing in more. Do the same for you, but if you have facial hair, it's gonna make it thicker and more fuller. You're gonna get smarter, you're gonna start understanding things more. I believe that ADHD can come from pornography and social media because our attention spans are so shot. You're gonna get more confidence, able to talk to girls, able to look at people in their eyes and not be intimidated by the man like you're gonna be talking face to face not worrying about anything i had to say because you're that nigga bro you you the one like you feel like yeah i'm him more masculine you're gonna be stronger you feel me you're gonna be in the gym that testosterone's running through your body you not you didn't waste it you're releasing that dopamine at the gym and your testosterone is just raging like why do you think bulls when they see the red they're just raging they have so much testosterone in them so you're gonna be raging you're gonna be you may be angry, you're probably going to be a little bit aggravated, but hey, it's better than being sad and, and, and gloomy and stuff like that. You're going to be happy and stuff. And you're going to gain purpose. Like You're going to be like, damn, this is my purpose. My purpose is to build something, to create something, generational wealth, make myself a better person, teach people. Not to be busting them off, you feel me? Like, who wants to be known? Like, is there a war for oh, the person who watches the most porn? No, bro. Go out and do something. The person who went the fastest in the race, the person who went the longest in in playing basketball, you feel me? There's stuff for that, but there, nobody wants to be known. The best porn watcher, the best fapper, Mr. Beat It, you feel me? Like, no, you feel me? So, take this video with a lot or take it with a grain of salt. It's up to you. I'm not telling you what to do, but try it, bro. If you feel like you're addicted, make a plan to try and quit, bro, because you can start getting it sucked in. It's going to start making you feel like shit. So if you're a young person watching this, don't start watching it. I don't care what your friends say. Society tries to normalize it. Don't watch it, bro. If you want to become a better man, stop watching it and go find your purpose, bro. But with that being said, I'll catch you on the next video, man.